Four from here. Number four? Wow. Number four. I came for a show back in 2010 called Natural History. It was a short-lived action-adventure series for kids. I don't think anybody came for a panel, but it was really great because nobody knew who we were, so I could walk the floor. And uh, I got to go to a lot of different booths and see all the different costumes. And sorry, I see AJ Fry back there. Um, and it's a little different now. I, I don't get to see as much of the con, but the, the reception at the panel was unreal. When the house lights went on in the panel yesterday, that I saw just hundreds of people that were yeah, wild. Yeah. You probably can't walk around at all outside, huh? Um, it, it's a little tricky. Yeah. It's a little tricky. And I, you know, I, I don't have any problem living anonymously any place else. Yeah. Like nobody, I can't get a table in a restaurant. Oh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, I can't. So this is the one place. It's neat to come and and um, and just see that some brainchild of yours somewhere inside of you, this like artistic expression actually connected with somebody in any capacity, in any form, I think that's really cool. And that means a lot to us. Really. It means a lot. Are the fans surprised when they hear you talk? <laughs> yes. I think I think some of the 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 reveal has I think it's a lot of it's I, I recognize so many faces. <laughs> Um, the reveal is, I, it's happened so many times now, I think everybody is pretty much, that everybody knows I'm not actually English. But yeah, I get the odd person. There was a woman at the Nerdist conversation yesterday, who when the, I started talking um, and made reference to a scene, and she actually audibly screamed. Um, and she was like, oh, you're so good! And I was like, thank you. <laughs> Have you guys started anything for season four yet? Um, I know the writing. Yeah. I don't know specifically. I have. I've. I managed to get some information out of Graham last night. Um, but you know, I can't. Uh, I can say I love the direction that the season's going to go in. I think it's. Yeah. Part of what I loved about season one was that, I mean, obviously, it's like any superhero story. The reveal of the superpowers is always the most exciting part. And then, you know, sometimes it can it can peter off. The drama degrades a little bit because then the thrill of the reveal is gone. So the neat thing about season four is that I think we've got a reveal akin to what the train platform was in season one. What that meant to the to the characters, what it meant to Sarah, um, not really knowing who the threat is, just knowing there's this this um, ominous blanket of. of it's a terrible expression. Ominous blanket. <laughs> just knowing there's a, there's a threat we don't know. We don't know what the illusion is. We don't know um, what it pervades. We don't know who the players are. We don't really know where the top is or where the bottom is. We just know that it's dangerous. And it's going to be very interesting to learn how Sarah fits in to all of that. Because, you know, it's it's. I think it's important the audience is reminded just why Sarah is ruffling feathers to begin with. What's she doing? Why is she, you know, and I think that's something we're going to address in season four. So I'm, I'm excited. That's awesome. What do you hope will happen with your character in season four? What do you want to happen? I think I would like more of, I got to do a lot of really interesting things last year, but I think I'm looking for something a little bit more substantial in terms of an arc, the character development, something that can actually influence, something that can change him. I'm looking for something that can, that, there's been a lot of conflict, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened, but there hasn't really been a lot of growth for him. He's, he's stayed, and, and that's important. I mean, we are who we are, and I know that the audience has come to love many, the many facets of him, but I know there's a lot more to explore, and I want to explore that, and I want to, I'm interested in telling the audience I'm interested in telling a story about a gay man and what he's going through as an artist, as a gay man, as a lonely, single gay man. I want to reveal what I know about loneliness. I want to... Does that make sense? Yeah. I think it, I, I'd like to... That's the story that I'd like to tell. And I think that I can tell that within the parameters of, of where season four is going as a, as a season. Yeah, it's, it's exciting for me because I, I really... They, they become real to you. The characters become very real to you. Not in a, a 
You know, we're not crazy. We know they're not real. <laughs> but emotionally, when we read things on, on the... Oh, I love your tattoo. Oh, isn't that great? It's not real, is it? No, no, no. It's a, Did you draw that yourself? No, Did someone it's right over there on the counter. counter. They're putting them on? Yeah. 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 Oh, exactly. <laughs> um, they've emotionally become very... You also know them. The more you get to know them, the more you notice the parallels between you and the character. And you are better able to find the qualities in yourself so long as you're willing to be honest about who you are and honest that, and, and can honestly self-confront and figure out yeah as long as you know who you are you will better find qualities in yourself that illuminate this person and um, show you new new sides the sides that you didn't think were there and it can be cathartic because you're you're exploring your own personal your own pain, your own experiences, and you're hopefully telling a story with it through the, the through the body, through the veil of this character. So you know you're playing yourself, but you're not really playing yourself. Um, you get to kind of run with total abandon and have this safety net around. It's a really it's it's a weird job. It's a very weird job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Thanks.